have such awesome content. A very good morning to all of you from 88 Racing. This is your host Sushank Sharma for today. And today I'm going to show you uh, a very peculiar journey. It's peculiar because we are going to Aizol, Mizoram. And we are trying to complete this in one day. It's uh, kilometer wise, if you look at it, it's not much. It's around 500 odd kilometers. But the thing is, the journey is very treacherous. And normally people complete it in two days. So first day, what they do is they go from Guwahati to Silchar. The next day, they go from Silchar to Aizol. But we are going to complete it in, I mean, we are going to try to complete it in one day. Now, right now, as you can see, we are in a beautiful turn in Jowai. Not Jowai, this is the Jowai bypass, actually. We have not reached there yet. So once we reach Silchar, I'm going to show you footages again. There are some beautiful places. Last time when I came here, I couldn't film it all. This time I will. So I'm going to take you on this journey and also uh, this is going to be very important because a lot of uh, you people will be coming to Aizol because of the new track that's going to be made. Now I'm not going to the track, I'm going there for some other stuff that you'll get to see in my next vlogs. But anyway, this, go this journey is going to be very important and this whole documentation is going to be important for all of you as it is for me so that uh, you can travel like me because uh, all of you will be coming to the uh, to race or do track days on that Aizol track so with that said let's continue on this journey so this is the second toll gate that we have reached uh, this is the joy bypass toll and i'm going to show you each and every toll now the first one i missed out because i didn't start vlogging yet so i've just started it so this is the second toll gate first is the nongpo toll this is the joy toll so this is the second one So this is the third toll gate that we are approaching and we have not reached Silchar yet. We get to reach Silchar and the third toll gate that we are approaching. So I mean to say this is the thing guys, I mean the road conditions aren't that good and we are paying a lot of tolls, lot and lot of tolls. So I think what the government should do is they should repair the roads or at least give us good roads and then we don't mind paying the tolls i mean uh, like we are the public we use the roads and we give good money for good service but here what we are seeing is that we are paying a lot of money for not so good service so this should improve a little bit and you should take care of this as well when you're coming to uh, mizoram aizol that is because this is going to be the next hot spot for all the races uh, be it track races or off-road racing Aizol is turning into a hub of racing so uh, I mean the government should take care of this so we have reached Ladrimbai now and this is like a, a stop in between and uh, people here take small breaks so whoever is traveling from say Guwahati to Silchar or Silchar to Guwahati they always stop here because uh, there's a fuel station over on that side as you can see that's a fuel station and a lot of shops this side so we'll also go grab something to eat some light breakfast and then we're gonna continue back on the journey so we have covered somewhere around 150 kilometers now and there's a lot 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 more to go, around 300 more to go it's 8:58, and just look at the condition of the road the amount of fog that is there on the road we have reached uh, Bandihati. Uh, this is after Clariat, and it's a beautiful sight right now. This is the beauty of Meghalaya. The fog, beautiful weather, nice and wet roads. Though it's risky, but beautiful indeed. You can't see anything on the side. Nothing is visible. But it pleases the mind. Wow. So we are almost reaching Sonapur but then we held back 
and there's a long line of traffic jam as you can see why let's check this out i think there's something wrong over there so we'll just go check it out looks like an accident or something so what exactly look at this so apparently i think this truck came from that side so couldn't get balance when this this side and this one i think is trying to cross or something and there was an accident so now the road is blocked and we're stuck or was it a collision looks like a collision though yes the collision it's a head on collision it looks bad this looks really bad so it was a head on collision both the trucks it looks bad a lot of traffic on this side too the entire road is blocked on this side as well the driver is finally up because the cops are here so i guess they're going to move it now and the traffic's going to flow again the vehicle and start back so that's our car and just look at the jump we'll get back in and continue back on the journey so this is the fourth toll gate that we are approaching and i wonder how much more we have to pay i mean seriously the quality of roads should improve but the only thing enjoyable on this road is the weather and the scenery i mean this place is beautiful and you can't say no to that Talk about the beauty of Meghalaya and talk about the beauty of Northeast. Let me show you something. 
just look at the color of the water it's blue though it's polluted it's blue just think what will happen if you see clear water this is the beauty we have just entered assam on the other side well uh, we have crossed meghalayan border and just entered assam this is hailakandi district i guess i mean where silchar and also is at so we have to bypass silchar and go towards mizoram now the roads are not very good on this side this place is called malidhar and there are a lot of logistics office and all that over here and suddenly the weather changes from cloudy all the way to sunny and it's very hot right now right now we are in between uh, silchar and hailakandi somewhere i don't know exactly where and there's a lot a lot of tea gardens so i'm just following the google map however it's showing me and these are some really really beautiful sites So after a lot 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 and lot of off-roading we have finally entered the roads of Mizoram. And as soon as Mizoram starts and Assam side ends, well this one is supposed to be a shortcut but then it's a hell of a shortcut because it was like a total off-road. Well, we have entered Mizoram and the roads are slightly better now. In fact, a lot better. So at least we can do 40s, 50s now. And uh, we're continuing on our journey. we've just done our entry at the border gate so basically when you come to mizoram you have to be uh, doing an entry uh, mandatory entry at an entry gate and uh, charges are not much here well you, when you make the ilp in uh, mizoram house uh, guwahati or wherever so the charges are 350 rupees per person but uh, at the gate also you are separately charged 100 rupees i mean that was 50 rupees per person so uh, it was a total 100 rupees that we had to pay but nevertheless it's fine and the place is beautiful and the roads are beautiful so we don't mind paying this much what's up guys what's up from mizoram and we have just crossed kolasib area you can see the road there that's the national highway we came up from that side actually the view is or gas bag i can say i'll just show you once so this is the view and you tell me how it is do you like it or not is it a beautiful welcome to mizoram guys we are 40 kilometers away from uh, the city of aizol right now and look at the condition of my car <laughs> totally muddy so this has been the journey so far i washed a bit of this because there was so much mud that i couldn't see what was behind we need a car wash very soon rehan's totally tired and sitting over there i also managed to scratch a bit of this actually what happened was i was taking a u turn and a truck backed up a little bit Just a bit of this. So I'll have to get this repaired as well. So this is what I can see here. This truck, he's carrying a lot of engine oil, the thing used engine oil, and he's throwing everything on the road. Just look at this. And this is just in the outskirts of Aizol town. What great recipe for an accident! So we have just reached the Aizol town. And just look at the view. lights lights everywhere you see you can actually call it the city the hilly city on lights so damn beautiful i'm still driving so i can't make the picture very clear but as much as i can i'm showing you beautiful hilly city on lights finally we are here in aizol and look he, who's here with me 
that's alex uh, he's my mentor like i said before uh, and he's taught me everything about racing that is uh, will not take you to the track this time but uh, yeah we'll give you a nice tour of his nice garage i don't want to show you anything right now because if i do that it'll spoil all the fun that we have got for you and there's something else parked right over there what is it i'm not going to show you yet for this wait for the next vlog now i'm going to go check in the hotel have some dinner and go to sleep because i'm dead as tired right now so if you like this vlog comment in the comment section which part you like the best what you like about mizoram what you like about the entire trip did you like the cinematics and the beautiful beautiful scenery of meghalaya and mizoram when do you want the next vlog because i'm going to make two three vlogs back to back so let me know in the comment section below and do like share and subscribe to this vlog that's me sashank sharma saying goodbye from 88 racing see you in the next vlog